Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not at the pop-up camper. Uh, Mid-November 2020, that's about it for camping. Uh, I did a video on uh, these Deep Cycle batteries, uh, uh, series or parallel. Uh, someone made a comment how I made a mistake on my setup for series, so I just wanted to make another quick video on uh, series and parallel in case, uh, you know, clear up any confusion. So what you want to do is you want to have your two deep cycle batteries in uh, next to each other like this. And uh, you want to have your positive on uh, this battery lined up with your positive on this battery. And then your negative over here lined up with the negative over here. Okay, now we want to make this system, for example, say... Uh, you know, you want to hook it up to your pop-up camper, so it's a 12-volt system, so you want to keep it 12-volt. Even though you have two batteries, you can still keep it 12-volt by uh, hooking it up in uh, parallel. So, how uh, we're going to do that, the way you're going to do that is uh, you're going to get some 4-gauge wire like this, long enough to uh, connect each negative uh, and each positive. Right, so as you can see here, I got the four gauge wire hooked to the negative on this battery and it goes to the negative on this one. And then the next thing is to uh, get the positive uh, four gauge wire on the positive here and the positive over there. All right, so I got the uh, positive uh, four gauge wire hooked up to this and it goes to the other one. Now what this does, this setup here, is it uh, changes uh, uh, these two 12 volt batteries uh, into, let's see here, uh, 65 amp hours on this battery and 65 amp hours on this battery. So now 65 plus 65 is 130 amp hours. Now, you still have, uh, it's still a 12 volt system, uh, but you just doubled your amp hours here. So it's 12 volt and, um, so if you're at your, have this set up at your pop-up camper, uh, cause your pop-up camper is a 12 volt uh, system, uh, you would hook up your, uh, positive, uh, let's say this is, uh, your positive wire. Just for demonstration here, you'd hook up your positive wire here on the positive terminal from your pop-up camper. And then you would hook up your negative wire, just for demonstration purposes here, over on this battery. <clears throat> so there you go. So this is your uh, pop-up camper wire. The positive on your pop-up camper is going to have the fuse on it. That's how you tell the difference. And then you would have your uh, negative uh, over on this one. So that's your uh, basic setup for uh, parallel. And you're now going to have a 12 volt system at 130, because 65 and 65, 130 amp hours. So if you're burning, uh, you know, say 10 amps per hour, uh, it's going to last you, uh, you know, 13 hours down to zero which you're not supposed to because you're only supposed to bring these down to 50 percent so let's say 130 amp hours um and you're burning 10 um, amps an hour you know uh, it's not 13 hours it's about seven because uh you know six and a half sorry because uh, you only want to bring these down to 50 percent all right so now let's move into series all right, guys, so uh, this is the series setup here, if you want to put your batteries in series. So basically what you do is you um, put your positive from one battery and your negative to one battery. And then uh, for demonstration purposes, if this was your pop-up camper positive, you just put it on this side here. And uh, your negative, uh, you just put it on this side over here for demonstration purposes only here. There you go, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. 
So now what this does is it turns your uh, two 12 volts into 24 volt, into a 24 volt system. Uh, so, you know, some uh, applications are 12 volt, some are 24. So if you had another battery, say over here, you would just connect, you know, continue connecting the negative to the positive, you know, from uh, this battery to your next battery over here. Uh, that's how it's done. But in 24 volt, when you're connected in series like this, you still only have, uh, you know, 65 amp hours. All right, guys, I'm back here at the, I'm on the parallel setup because most of the applications, you know, for pop-ups or whatever, you're going to be using this parallel uh, setup uh, to keep it 12 volt. Uh, just to show you, you know, how small the system is, um, you know, 65 amp hours um, times two, because, uh, you know, you have another one over here, is 130. But you can't bring these batteries below 50%. So 130 amp hours divided by two is 65 amp hours. So 65 amp hours, um, if you're, uh, you know, burning, say, uh, uh, you know, five amps uh, an hour, uh, you don't have uh, very much time to, uh, you know, to uh, run these batteries down to 50%. So like, say, you know, 12 hours, uh, and that's it. And, uh, don't forget the, these little solar panel here, like this one I have here, this 40 watt, uh, basically it's, uh, you know, if you want to figure out how many amps this is going to give you back into your batteries, uh, so 40 watts is going to give you two amps per hour at, at like full capacity. So if it's a really you know, nice sunny day and your, you know, your solar panel here, 40 watt is kicking out two amps. Uh, you know, it's going to give you back two amps per hour. Uh, but if you're burning, you know, five amps per hour, uh, you know, and, and like I said, that's on a nice hot sunny day, you know, where this thing is cranking out. So a good rule of thumb is, uh, you know, it's half of whatever uh, the wattage is of the uh, solar panel. So if you have a, an 80 watt solar panel, say double this size, um, it's going to give you four amps per hour charge back into your batteries. Uh, and if, let's say you have a 100, a 100 watt uh, uh, solar uh, panel at full capacity, it's going to give you five amps an hour. So the bigger, you know, you go up, the more amps per hour you're going to get. You know, I've seen some people with like, say a 500 watt uh, solar setup. Uh, you know, that's going to give you, uh, you know, uh, quite a bit of, uh, of amps uh, per hour on a full, uh, but, you know, keep in mind again, that's a, you know, a really sunny day. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're new, please subscribe, uh, hit that old thumbs up button. I appreciate the support. Leave comments below, uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments until next time.